Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss calculus limits and a few tricks for computing them. So here we have the limit as x approaches negative 1 of x squared plus 3x plus 2 over x plus 1. Now, it is frequently the case in calculus that when we are given the limit of some polynomial, we can simply plug in the value and see what we get. However, this is not one of those cases. So you can see if we plug in negative 1 for x, we get a 0 in the denominator, which will be undefined. So we're going to have to come up with some sort of trick for how to compute this limit, because it does exist. And what frequently happens in these sorts of problems is you are presented with a polynomial in the numerator that can be factored. 1. And it so happens that the numerator can be factored into x plus 1 times x plus 2. And again, this is all over x plus 1. Well, here we can see that there's an x plus 1 in the numerator and an x plus 1 in the denominator. Since we're computing the limit, we can simply cancel those out. And what we're left with is the same limit, x going to negative 1, of x plus 2. But here, there's no problem. We can simply plug in the value x equals negative 1 and see what we get. Negative 1 plus 2, simply 1. OK, well, here's another sort of problem. We have the limit as x goes to positive infinity of x squared over e to the x. Well, here we can't factor anything because the numerator is simply a monomial and the denominator is an exponential function. But what we can use is something that's known as L'Hopital's rule, who's a French mathematician came up with this. What L'Hopital's rule states is that if the numerator of the limit goes towards either positive or negative infinity, and the denominator also goes towards positive or negative infinity, then what you can do is take the limit of the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. And these will be equivalent. Very handy. So this is the limit as x goes towards positive infinity of 2x over e to the x. Well, here we try to plug in infinity again, and we get the same problem as we had before, infinity in the numerator and infinity in the denominator. So we'll just apply L'Hopital's rule again. Limit as x goes to positive infinity, derivative of the numerator is simply 2, and the derivative of the denominator is e to the x again. Well, here, if we plug in infinity, which is a, not exactly the most rigorous way of thinking about it, but it'll serve our purposes, we get 2 over infinity. But anytime we are dividing by infinity, we get 0. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed two techniques for dealing with calculus limits.